This is a pretty simple linear inequality, but uh, it has a fraction in it, so I decided I would work this one out. So there's several ways to approach this. Now, if this denominator of 4 went into 16, which it does, but also went into 2, I would just go ahead and multiply this through. But since it doesn't, I, I want to get rid of the fraction. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator here. So I'm going to multiply this by 4, and I have to come over here and multiply all of this by 4 as well. So on the left-hand side, we have 36x minus 4 less than, and so the 4 here cancels that 4 there, and so I'm left with 3 parentheses 16x minus 2. And now we have something that doesn't have fractions. So let's continue simplifying. The right-hand side is 3 times 16x, 48x, and then 3 times negative 2 is minus 6. Now we're going to subtract 48 from x from both sides. And so I have negative 12x, and I'm going to add 4 to both sides. And so we have negative 12x less than negative 2. So this is a good example of the one issue that we need to be mindful of when we are working linear inequalities. When you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you flip the inequality. So right here, I'm going to divide by negative 12 on both sides because that's what I need to do here to work this problem. So I have x, and now I had a less than. I'm going to change that to be a greater than and 1 sixth. And that's the solution to this question. Now the other part of this is uh, understanding how to graph this. And before we talk about graphing it, let's talk about the interval notation for this question. Remember, interval notation for a, a greater than or less than is when we use parentheses. And when we have greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we use the brackets. All right, in this case, we have uh, x greater than 1 sixth uh, here on the number line. I'm going to draw it on the number line here. So 1 sixth is between 0 and 1, and it's pretty close to 0. And we're talking about numbers greater than 1 sixth. So 1, 2, 3, all those numbers are greater than 1 sixth. So we put a curved brace, and then we shade in this direction. Right? And that interval is written as curvy brace 1 sixth to infinity. And that's how we would write that in interval notation. Now let me show you in WebAssign how you enter this answer because you are required to do it on the number line. So here's my graph. I'm going to enter greater than 1 sixth. So I come over here and I click the left parenthesis and I put it between 0 and 1, about right there. Now you need to recognize that if you put it right here, WebAssign's going to tell you that's wrong because that's not anywhere near 1 sixth. That's about a half. You need to be pretty close to 0. And then we're going to choose the left parenthesis. And then we're going to click on the pencil here and we're going to draw right there and we're, that's our shading the line to shade that everything is greater. And that should get you the correct answer. If it doesn't, you need to figure out exactly where 1 sixth is and maybe come over here, use the arrow and maybe move this a little bit closer to zero if it tells you you're wrong. Uh, WebAssign has some tolerance that it will allow here, but you need to be pretty close to 1 sixth. If you put it at 1 half, it's going to tell you it's wrong. So that's how you do this problem, both algebraically and then also how you enter it in WebAssign.